Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slade here. Back with another unboxing and today, uh, got something special for you guys. I feel like I always say it's something special. Well, that's because it is always something special. Otherwise, I wouldn't unbox it here for you guys. It's something that I feel like you guys would be interested in seeing and so I take the time to shoot this whole video and unboxing for you. And so for today, I have the Air Jordan 4 in fire red. So, for those of you that are familiar with the Air Jordan 4 Fire Red, it is one of the original colorways of the Air Jordan 4. And, fun fact, the Air Jordan 4 only had four colorways when it launched back in the day. I know today you see tons of colorways of the Air Jordan 4, but originally there was only four, and this right here is one of the OGs. So, without further ado, let's hop into the box. As you can see, it is the regular Air Jordan 4 box has the flight on the front. The Air Jordan 4 was the introduction of the flight to the Jordan brand. Um, these boxes are extra big. They don't usually fit inside of like the container store boxes that you have. So uh, if you want your Air Jordan 4s in the box, you're gonna have to stack them. Otherwise, you gotta take them out. But let's take a look inside. Nothing special, just the black and red flight and a jump man. They have the cement print or cement print. If you're me, that's how I say it on the tissue paper, which looks really nice and obviously was introduced on the Air Jordan 4. Uh, you have some regular tissue paper and here we go. Yeah, these are, oh yeah, these are nice. So, a uh, couple of things about this shoe. Uh, designed by Tinker Hatfield, as I am sure a lot of you guys already know. Uh, Tinker started with the Air Jordan 3 and uh, he moved on and helped design the Air Jordan 4 and that's where you get this back area of the shoe. It's very similar to the Era Revolution but it feels this is where the Air Jordan 3 gets that from and so now you also see it on the Air Jordan 4. Now the Air Jordan 3 didn't have a lot of room for ventilation and a lot of room for air and so Tinker's solution to that was to add these vents here that you see on the side panels. There's one here on the side panel, one on the medial side and then you want to have one here at the forefoot as well. And even though you have the plastic mesh here, there's actually mesh layer underneath that as well. So it wasn't just like these were air holes and air could blow straight through here. He actually added mesh underneath to let the air flow through there. And you also get it uh, up top on the tongue. You can see it a little bit through the laces. Now, some of the cool parts about the shoe, just to kind of give you some details, uh, these came with the Nike Air Hang tag. The one that they originally came with was a lot bigger and thicker than this, but you know, we're splitting hairs here. They give you the tag with the little the little holder there for your keychain if you want to throw it on your keychain or if you want to rock it with the shoes. Some people do that. I'm not mad at that. Keeping that OG look. He added these wings here and they were for containment to keep your shoe, uh, to keep your foot locked down to the shoe and they have all these extra eyelets here. So if you wanted to get fancy with your lacing system, obviously the Air Jordan 3 was the first time we saw the Jumpman logo. Uh, but you also see that here on the Air Jordan 4 here on the tongue. Uh, but you also have the addition of the word flight there at the bottom of the tongue as well. Uh, it actually looks pretty cool. And there was this was like the introduction of the flight theme for the Jordan brand. And there was a ton of stuff that had flight. It was like the Jumpman logo and flight or the Jumpman logo and Air Jordan. So you had all of that there. This flight started with the Air Jordan 4. Also on the reverse of the tongue, of the Air Jordan 4 is Air Jordan, but it's actually flipped upside down. So actually read it this way. And a lot of people thought that that meant the shoes were fake or that they were fake shoes when they saw that it was upside down, but that is not the case. That is how Tinker actually designed it. Now with most colorways, they get their name from random parts or random colors of the shoe. This one is fire red. Obviously you can see the fire red all around the shoe. You have the white and the black, and then you have the cement gray. Of course, you have the outsole of the Air Jordan shoe, which always looks really, really nice. Now, the big thing about the Air Jordan 4 that always kind of gets people is the midsole. So this midsole is painted here, and it's painted all the way around, uh, even on the medial side. Now, the thing with, with the paint, instead of the actual cushioning being dyed, is that the paint often cracks. And so you'll see your Air Jordan 4s, 
they'll crack here quite a bit. Now, the reason behind that is because once again, this is like a cushion, a foam, and they're painting over a cushion and a foam, and that compresses and decompresses and, and compresses and decompresses. And over time, the paint just can't hold up to that. The paint isn't malleable enough to flex and unflex with the cushioning or the foam there, and so you start to get cracks here. I personally, don't mind it because again, I wear my shoes and for me, it's all about wearing your sneakers. So to see those little cracks there, I take it as just like the aging of the shoe. It's letting people know that these shoes have actually been worn and that's the extent of it. Some people take it a little more personally like than that and they want their shoes to look brand new all the time. I get that. And if that is who you are, the Air Jordan 4 is probably just not the shoe for you, first of all, just to start. Um, but if you do want the Air Jordan 4 and that bothers you, you can always get yourself some paint, just get black paint here, and you'll just kind of have to touch that up every once in a while after when you do your regular cleaning, touch up the black paint, and that'll get rid of those lines for you, get rid of some of those cracks for you. But it's definitely going to happen on the Air Jordan 4. There's just really no way to get around it because again, this is foam and it's paint on top of it. Um, now, another thing with these is because they are an original colorway, you have Nike Air on the back instead of the Jumpman logo. I know for some people that is a big deal. They want Nike Air there instead of Jumpman. I personally, I don't mind it either way. And I think really the colorway is what sells me on the shoe more than it does, whether it says Nike Air here or it says Jumpman here. Like I'm not looking for the cred that comes with, oh, I have the pair with Nike Air on the back. Like I get that and I understand that, but it's just not something that holds any weight with me, if that makes any sense. So whether it's Nike Air or it's a Jumpman there or it's some other logo there, uh, it doesn't really matter to me. It's more of the colorway of the Air Jordan 4 that really makes the biggest difference with me. Um, now the Air Jordan 4 was a big shoe for Michael Jordan. He won all sorts of award. I think he won Defensive Player of the Year that year. Um, I think he was in the running for MVP or may, he may have won MVP. Uh, I think he won, uh, he was the most, he'll score the most points that year. Uh, he won like four different NBA awards. I think he was part of the first team, first defensive team. So he was putting up numbers when he was rocking these on the court as he should uh, when you're rocking your own signature shoe. Now, a couple thing, other things about this shoe that uh, I just want to kind of bring to your attention. This leather here actually feels pretty nice on this shoe and the thing about that is if it's softer that means you're going to get creases or it's going to wear a little faster than like a harder uh plastic would so you'll probably see some creases here along this area um you, you were going to get those creases anyway but the more you wear this pair especially because it's white especially because this layer is a little bit it's a little soft it's not like tumbled or anything like that it's a smooth leather so you're definitely going to get some creases in here i wore these a little bit earlier just to get some shots of them on feet and you can already start to see a few creases starting to form or bubbling start to form there at the toe box so just be warned i'm not sure if this is just my pair but it's definitely something that you should consider like there's a literally a crease starting to form right here on the shoe so just know that that's going to happen not something that bothers me because i like to wear my shoes so that doesn't bother me as much but again if that's something that bothers you you're going to make sure you definitely keep these shoes packed uh, when you store them away have some paper inside of them so that they don't have a chance to continue to crease and so that kind of helps fight it a little bit but for the most part it's gonna happen and people are gonna know that they're not brand new um, and that you wear your shoes, which God forbid that people know that you wear your shoes. Anyway, uh, I got these early through the sneakers app. They had that shot drop, but they are going to officially drop on Black Friday. I imagine there are going to be a lot of pairs of this shoe. So if you're wanting to get a pair, I believe you should be able to. They're not gonna be crazy limited or anything like that. I wouldn't buy any on any of the resale platforms as of right now, unless you just must have a pair immediately. Otherwise, just wait till Black Friday and save yourself a little bit of money because you'll probably be able to get them for retail. So that is the Air Jordan 4 Fire Red. Just released, got them on the shop drop. Wanted to unbox them for you guys as soon as possible. You can look for these to drop again on Black Friday. I'm Jacques Slade. As always, I appreciate you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about the Air Jordan 4. Leave them down in the comments below. Um, and also make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe, but only if this is a video that you actually wanna see. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.